expert. Pregnancy certainly has its ups and downs. There are some real risks to getting pregnant and having a child. Dr. Hilary Kufal with the Wheaton Franciscan Medical Group joining us this afternoon. Uh, having a child later in life, it's become kind of a practical thing for a lot of people to wait, to put it off, but there are risks that associated with waiting. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think a lot of times people don't think about that. They think about their career, they get married later, um, and people don't realize that things start to change with your reproductive health as you get older. Um, for one, it starts to get more difficult to get pregnant. Um, we start to see a decline around the age of 32. It becomes more steady and sharp around the age of 37. Mm -hmm. um, there are also more risks that go along with pregnancy itself once you get pregnant. But it, it may be a challenge, but it is not impossible to be in your 40s and get pregnant. Correct, yes. What are some of the options women have? Well, some of the options women have are a little bit newer. A recent statement just came out saying that freezing of eggs and storing them for later use um, is no longer considered to be experimental. Um, however, it's still early in the stages and there's not enough data to recommend this to young women just in order to prevent you know, these problems later on. Um, but it is an option that is out there and may be coming into the forefront a little more in the future. So fertility does go down over time. Who gets to blame for that? Is it is it a guy thing or is it a girl thing? It's a girl thing this time. Yeah. Yes, it's a girl thing this time. We only have so many eggs. Correct, yes. So. We have all the eggs we're going to have when we're born and it steadily declines with time. Do you think that more women are coming in and speaking to you about the options now, knowing what we know now that waiting a little bit later makes it a challenge? There have been more. I think it's something that people actually are thinking about now, whereas in the past it really wasn't even thought of. People would just wait and try. Um, now there's more information out there and with the internet people can find some of these options about freezing their eggs. And so there are some people coming in and asking these types of questions. And there are two milestones here people need to know about, 35 and 40. Tell us about what happens at these two points. So once you turn 35, in the world of obstetrics, you become advanced maternal age. And um, there That's, are, That has a nice ring to yeah, it. Yeah, it sounds nicer than elder. <laughs> So okay. we, we try to go with advanced <laughs> maternal age. Um, but there do start to be some increasing risks to pregnancy mm -hmm. itself once you get to be 35. And those risks are more um, severe once you get to be 40. Well, as long as there's Iman and Holly Berry still having babies after 40, <laughs> I know that there is hope for a lot of women out there. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> they do have a little bit more resources, however, for the fertility treatments, which is the other thing people have to take into consideration, that all of these things do cost money. All right, Dr. Hillary, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Have a question for any of our experts? Send an email to asktheexpert at tmj4.com. We'll also take your voicemail at the number on.